Hey guys, this is Blair Zeus, and welcome to an all new video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be showing you all a Terraria Xbox One video on how to summon in and to be the brain of Cthulhu. Now, just an important fact right here, you need to pay attention to this. If you have the corruption in your world, you will not be able to do this. You need to have the crimson in your world. If you do not have the corruption, I mean, if you do not have the crimson, the crimson, then you will not you know, be able to do this. So you need to have the crimson in your world. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head into the crimson, and you're going to need to collect 15 vertebrae. Fortunately, you know, almost all the creatures here drop them. Um, they're not too hard to get. Um, there are very creepy creatures here. And, um, so, yeah. For example, this guy actually is not too creepy. It's those spider things that are creepy. But I'm just gonna grab my musket and just... Oh, yawn. Really close to me. I've got a good deal of ammo for this thing, so... Most creatures are guaranteed to drop to drop vertebrae. I only have nine vertebrae, and you get these vertebrae and by killing any creatures in the corruption. I know that and the face monsters that drop took them. Basically, all the creatures drop them, just the ones in the corruption. See, this box fitter, and see all of them drop vertebrae. Now I summon in that pet zombie. Oh, anyway, we have 11 vertebrae. Now if I go and just go over to the menu real quick, we need the bloody spine to summon this thing in. And you need 15 vertebrae. It sounds a little gross, but don't worry, it doesn't look as gross as it sounds. Now, as I mentioned, you need 15 vertebrae. I have 11. Unfortunately, they're really easy to get in the corruption. Not the corrupt. The corruption. The crimson. Every creature in the crimson drops in these vertebrae. It was these spider things. Now these spider things aren't the best for getting vertebrae. I mean, the ones that have the highest chance of giving you vertebrae you know, are these face monsters. Second highest chimera is... Okay, from... In order from greatest to least to in, in chance of giving you vertebrae, I mean, the face monster has the highest chance of giving you vertebrae. I mean, it's on, I think, a 90% chance. Because the, the Chimera it doesn't have that big of a chance. It has maybe 60%. The Blood Crawler, however, only has maybe 20% or so. I don't know the exact um, numbers. But I do know that most creatures... Is well, all the creatures in the Crimson have a chance to, to drop vertebrae. The spiders have the lowest chance. Ah, I want to get out of this cave. Too creepy, too creepy, too creepy. Since I don't have any gold coins on me, I can just basically dry myself and get back up to the surface. I can always get the, these coins back. And those things up there, and they'll make meteors land in your whole world. <coughs> they'll give you a random gun for a weapon. I believe it is a hammer you need to bust these. Yeah, it's a hammer. Oh. Apparently they have the chance apparently they have a chance to spawn in the Brian Cthulhu. 
did not know those things could just spawn them in. Okay, well that was a little bit of a fail. Yeah. The bottom for two was very hard to defeat as you saw then. Here we go, fake monster. I got one vertebrae. I need three more vertebrae. I'm gonna keep hitting Y to jump. Hitting! Why? To jump! <laughs> so, I'm here. I just need to keep him killing things in the, the crimson until I have 15 vertebrae. I'm starting vertebrae. I probably have some more back at the house, so I'm going to check. Okay, so as I mentioned, you do need the crimson in your world in order to summon in the Barn of Cthulhu. If you do not have the crimson, then you cannot uh, to spawn in the Barn of Cthulhu. You can uh, summon in the Eye of Cthulhu. I'm hoping I have some more vertebrae so I'm out. Because you only only need 15, they are kind of hard to obtain, especially if you don't have very decent items. But I have a pretty good items, it might not look like it, but if I quickly check my inventory, you can see that I have a silver helmet, an iron chest plate, and an ancient shadow pants. Pants is covered up by wood paint, and a raincoat, and goggles. That's what we need. This is what we need. Got a lens. Neither of them drop from the vertebrae. <laughs> so I'm here. Not all of them will drop the vertebrae. Hmm? <coughs> no, only some of them will. The ones that have the best chance these are the face monsters. These guys also have a pretty good chance. Vertebrae. Vertebrae. So we have 15 vertebrae. Step back. So now we're going to need to head down here. And just. Heading down, so we will find some altars. Now, this thing can only be crafted as the demon altars or blood altars. <coughs> demon altars are fine at the corruption, and the blood altars are fine at the crimson. Now, let's say you have no blood altars in the world, which I'm pretty sure is not a thing, but let's say it is a thing and you don't have to of it in your world. And no big deal, just create another world. And you can carry your character over to that world. Now we have got 
So then, then to bloody fine, which is what we to use to summon in the Brain of Cthulhu. So, if we just can get up here, and we need to head back to the house. And let's talk about the Brain of Cthulhu. Is he doesn't actually disappear when he kills you. You see, with most bosses, they will disappear after they have killed you. But with this guy, he won't. And, and yeah, to take down this guy, you are gonna need some happy stuff. I actually got from my store by killing him. He drops quite. He drops very good and rare loot. Now, if you're not battling him, but you still want to get the item, then um, yeah, you're gonna need to put in about ten hours in straight into Terraria just to find. And two pieces of loot he gives. It is insane. The loot he, and the loot he, he drops is amazing. <coughs> I am pretty sure you can make armor with it. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm gonna try making armor with it. Um, yeah, you can. It's pouring from the same moss. Okay, you need to do quite a lot of stuff to make these the armor and weapons. So, yeah. We've got the bloody spine. So, we need to find a good slot to put it. We don't really need a hammer. And, um,. Let's do this! Let's do this. Come in. Thing has to be close to the, crim the crimson. Thank you, dude. We probably have a healing potion. He has awoken. The Brown Cthulhu has awoken. I really like that soundtrack it plays when we are fighting him. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Run away, run away, run away. And with the stuff I have, it's quite hard to defeat him. I have amazing stuff. Healing potion. Okay. All of these guys can drop amazing loot. Just um yeah, I recommend you know, at least having you know, a a musket in, in Terraria. Okay, so that way you, know, you can do some pretty good damage to him. Yeah, I do need really good stuff. You need at least good stuff. So and the minimum you need, I say, will probably be an iron sword because I'm pretty sure that's what I do him with. I recommend having a a sapphire staff, or whichever staff you get. I need to zoom out a little bit. Gonna need to zoom out to the max. It's probably really hard for you guys to see now. I missed. Yeah, this guy actually has two stages. Stop our staff! This 
down here. You just need to keep him for fun again. Well, you just need to keep attacking him. And there he is. Quite hard to beat. Here we go. Now. Here's his second phase. The main phase. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Can you run, 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 run. Oh, not the best idea, get myself a corner. Where's Vaughn? See, the music's still playing, even after he's killed me. He just comes in with a melee attack. This guy is insanely powerful. But it's worth it struggling to defeat him because he, he drops amazing loot. I've defeated this guy a few times before, and so I know what you need to do to defeat him. Who's gone? Come on! Come on! So close to dying, so close to dying. He's dead! Burn Cthulhu has died. I need to find all of his loot. Oh, my loot is all my people. Those little marks are not here. This sounds a little more than a he's not playing up here. Nope. <coughs> yeah, guys. Right. Now that he has been defeated. You get all of the loot, which is lots of contained ore and a good deal of tissue, a tissue sample. Oh, and apparently, hmm. I've never seen this one before. What is this? Oh, it's like the Nimbus rod. It's like the Nimbus clown rod thing. Yeah, it looks like he has the chance to drop the crimson rod. So now he has all this amazing loot. You're probably wondering, what do I do? What do you do with this loot? Well, he gives you lots of crimson ore, which he smelts. So we head over here. Let's go to, to the crimson bar. We this whole day. <coughs> we got a, a bunch more. Now we also got the tissue sample. So, time to see some of those things we can make. We can make the meat ball. There is a cool. Yeah, that's a weird bow. You can also make the sword, I think. No, I already have that sword. Yeah, the sword you can make, I think with all of this loot, is called the Blood Butcher Wolf. And you can also make armor. It's crimson armor. make this amazing armor. Only if we had an anvil to craft this. That's what 
to the ancient shadow pants. But increases your attack damage, not attack speed. So um, let's go for that. And let's go for speed up. Now we shall equip Yeah, this is the full crimson armor set. But I am now going to re equip this stuff. Yeah, guys, that has been how to summon an and defeat. The brand of Cthulhu into our for the Xbox One. Hope you have enjoyed. And um, yeah, there's not really much more left to say other than I'll see you all later. Goodbye.